Danny in New Mexico. Danny, you're on the line with Secular Sexuality. Hey. Uh, hey. Since you don't have that much time, I'll kind of just jump into it and give my question. Sure. Um, so I am a little, and I, I guess kind of one of the things that amazes me is like the creativity that uh, age players and those types of scenes have involved in them. And I was wondering if uh, there were any ideas that you guys had about how to kind of transfer that with safe practices for the time that we're in of COVID and how to have these forms of headspace and play uh, if we aren't able to necessarily like go to parties and events and, and, you know, those sorts of things. Yeah, that's a, a great question. You know, I've, I've been kind of describing this as a like an emotional language or like a way of expressing a you know desire to be taken care of or a desire to take care of somebody. And I think we can all use a little bit of that right now. Uh, so what what kinds of ideas come to mind uh, to the two of you as we're talking about how to maybe embrace this period of time that we're in right now and uh, explore it through some sort of like age play or CGL dynamic. I mean, I live with someone who does distance learning uh, for kids. So I can definitely say that um, <clears throat> interacting with children or with anyone who is taking that position in a, uh, in an authoritative way is certainly possible. Um, over uh, over distance. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, I'll I'll add to that um, that. Well, um, water gun fights are <laughs> rising in popularity. Mm -hmm. um, they they incorporate distance. Um, nerf not so much because you have to collect the little things afterwards. But uh, water gun fights uh, were one of the suggestions we had for moving our socials outdoors and and making them safe i mean in the end i wasn't comfortable uh having people gather period uh that said uh here's something else that's going on on fridays there's actually a group of littles on the east coast doing something they call isolation story time and it's uh, murph and mavericks isolation story time and it is a zoom presentation that goes on for a couple hours with various performers, people reading or doing their thing, hanging out in the chat. It's a place where they might feel more little, uh, which you know is a, a feeling people crave when they have this interest. So uh, there is that, but also um, hiking, nature trails, things like that, playing outside, still okay to an extent, but in, in terms of being isolated, Animal Crossing, thank God. I was, you know, <laughs> sorry. Something, no, yeah, right? Um, Something so, uh, all age anyway. players and therapists can agree on. Thank God for <laughs> Animal Crossing. Uh, yes, very nice yes. period. I had, and thankfully I had a Switch laying around that uh, I was just using for Mario Kart and Super Smash Brothers at age play parties. You know, it's, it's really fun to get age players trash talking on an eight man smash. <laughs> uh, so anyway, um, Animal Crossing was a great thing for Littles at the time. And uh, my partner and many other Littles are connected on Instagram. Um, that that has its its own um, opportunities and pitfalls. You know, little, be, age play on Instagram is its own topic, not for today. Um, and let's see. Um, yeah, so video games and story times um, and watch parties are pretty common right now among age players. Um, yeah, I might get you started with those. Uh, but the latest, whatever the latest video game is that appeals to littles. Um, right now, my partner is obsessed with Fortnite. So if, um, if you know, authentically a game for children, but uh, she and her adult friends, adult littles, uh, all love to play this game together. And it's quite easy to connect remotely and plug in your headset and have a good time. Um, very, very easy. So I was impressed with that and I play with her 
whether locally or over the internet. Um, and, you know, she's much better at the game than I am, yet <laughs> somehow I carry this authority during the game, you know? <laughs> Uh, and I've played enough games in my life to make the call, you know, she's, Oh, daddy, what do we do? You know, I can, I can wing it. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, occasionally I get a very impressive kill and I go ahead and rake in whatever reputation I'm accruing from that. She doesn't see the miserable losses I suffer, you know? So the myth of all powerful daddy in gaming mm -hmm. is definitely a thing. So, um, we, we do a lot of virtual stuff gaming, Zooms, um, Animal Crossing, Instagram. Uh, FetLife is worth mentioning. Uh, I don't think there's a huge Littles community there um, until you go find it. Basically go align yourself with a given city. You know, there's there's not a national age play community to just go plug into that's doing national calls. You, you know, you would join something from Austin or from San Francisco or wherever they had the resources to put something on like that. Uh, but I've recently been friending more age play group organizers and uh, socials are moving online. We have one every Wednesday, 6.30, uh, that is on Discord. It's a video social. Um, there may be a theme like do it from your blanket fort, or it may just be catching up, or it may be playing Jackbox, Jackbox games together. Um, I made some custom age play question sets for Drawful 2. Uh, among Jackbox games, and you know that's good fun. So, those are my suggestions. Yeah, I, I think the biggest takeaway might be to jump online and see uh, what's going on in the community. You know, uh, we'll we'll give some more details later. But AgePlayAustin.com is uh, a great place to check out to get connected to things like this. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Dan. Thank you. Have a great night.